I was once a pretty chubby dude who just wanted to get rid of his love handles, man boobs, and the fat on his face so that he could get hollow cheeks and look like a Jika Chad bro. But he tried cutting, fasting, keto, and nothing just seemed to work. However, he never gave up. And eventually, after years of hard work and dedication, he built himself a pretty damn aesthetic and athletic physique. However, at first, he was surprised to see that the big boy juiced up Roy's turtle human ninja turtle shell look was pretty prominent and widespread in the fitness industry, and that every 14 year old TikToker that you see on the block was blasting Trebolone and Decca. Well, I think that's completely wrong because steroid use stems from insecurity and body dysmorphia. Well, there's healthier alternatives and a good role models that you could base yourself on. Look at Ronaldo, CR7, as an example. Is he on roids? Is he not masculine and is he not attractive? No, okay? If you're a chubby guy who just wants to build himself an aesthetic and athletic physique naturally, you've come to the right place in your teens. I'll leave a program that you can follow at the end of the video, but first, understand that you need muscles in the right places first in order to be aesthetic. You might have those muscles or you might have nothing. Tough love, bud, okay? Under your layers of chub, you might have nothing. Well. How do you build up those aesthetic lat, shoulder, and leg muscles then, Andy? Well, great question, okay? Eat protein and train consistently. Protein is the building block of the body. Okay, quote unquote, 40% of your calories should come from protein. That means one gram per pound of body weight is a measurement that I like to remember myself. That's how I keep myself on top of my diet. This also means you might have to cut down on the excessive Grimace drinks and the Big Macs you've been having from fucking McDee's, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You'll find that just by doing this alone, you will feel greater mental clarity and see greater results. Train consistently to technical failure, okay? No, this does not mean train until you literally almost die on the squat rack David Goggins style. No, I mean train until your form gets sloppy, although you can do the, the former. Bonus points if you want to go crazy and add in a drop set on your last set to really reap the most out of your tired muscles and stimulate more hypertrophy. More than that, you're risking injuring yourself and overdoing it, almost dying, like I said. Why do I say this? Because this will also ensure that you get every rep you make is of high quality. And trust me, a high quality rep is two times harder than a half-assed rep aimed to just hit a superficial 10 or 12 reps, okay? I'm willing to say, Six high quality reps, much better than 20 half assed reps. Okay, you get more bang for your buck just from six reps alone. Do 20% of the work, get 80% of the results from those. Now, the program, okay, the juicy part. First link in the description. Make a copy, do whatever you want with it. Go crazy, okay? Make sure that you stay consistent, that you progressively overload, and that you sleep well, okay? Watch these videos to become aesthetic in two months. Get the fuck out of here and start improving, bro. Quack!